Yo, 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 guys, what is up, guys? It is me, Jose Pop24. How are you guys doing today? I hope everyone has a beautiful day and is having a beautiful time everywhere, wherever they are in the world, maybe nighttime, day, I don't know. But I know you guys read the title on the bottom. How oh, I made $200 in less than 10 seconds of my life. All right, guys, I'm gonna, guys tell you, I'm gonna tell you guys a crazy story. Right? So, pretty much, I was working one day at my job, pretty much valet driving. Parking cars, moving it, you know, it's the usual, working at a pretty fancy hotel where big ballers come around and they drive big, nice cars and things that we really wish we want to drive, but god damn, they waste a lot of money. Anywho, pretty much, one day I was just working my shift as I as me, myself and I and my other co-workers, working my shift, parking cars downstairs, moving left and right, busting our balls to literally get some money and probably get some tips and everything at the end of the day. But we're busting our ass, you know, just completely busting our ass. And so pretty much what happened in this story was uh, one day some guy comes in, right? He comes in randomly, you know, him and his wife, I can say, nice, nice, beautiful Rolls Royce comes down driving, right? Comes around, right? It's like, hey, can you guys park my car? All right, cool. This guy is super cool. He's like, hey, yes, can you guys leave my car in the front? It's a very nice new car I just got. Okay, buddy, I know you're driving a Rolls Royce. You could just say that pretty easy in the start. But this guy is driving a nice car and we parked it, right? All right, cool. We parked this car, right? We're chilling. We're waiting. And then uh, that's me just working. We got a phone call on our valet desk. But no one was there to answer, so I was forced to answer. This old guy with his very muffled voice is like, <clears throat> hello, is this valet department? I was like, yeah, this is valet department. How you doing? He's like, oh, uh, I have a special request. I don't know if you guys are able to do it or not because I don't know if you guys are able to get things for people. I was like, uh, in my mind, I had to second guess and I just said, sure, yeah, we can get it. What do you need? And he said, uh, I need a AT&T prepay card phone. I'm willing, I'm willing, willing to tip $200 cash or in Zelle, or in anything, any kind of electrical device, anything. Okay, cool, this guy said $200 on the spot. I said, I could do it for you, sir. Just give me, and once I go on my break, just give me your number and everything and I'll give you a car text. So I remember just helping the driveway, helping out all the valet guys move cars left and right. We're busting our balls again, we keep on going. And then, you know, my break time hits, so, what I do, I give this guy a text a call. I was like, okay, I'm on my break. I'm going to get you your, your AT&T prepaid phone card, okay? I'm going to give you that right now in the instant. All right, cool, he said. I, <laughs> so pretty much, I was looking for AT&T prepaid card. He wanted a $50 one, right? A $50 one. But what is crazy to me is like, okay, I'm going to just give you the 200 right now because I already trust you. $200 just to get someone a $50 prepaid card phone? I was like, cool, sure, whatever. I went to the first store, 7-Eleven. I called them, hey, they don't have it here. Uh, just go to the next, he said, the pharmacies or any kind of pharmacies have them. The $50 prepaid card phone, they have to be a prepaid card. I said, okay, cool, $50, I'll look for one. So I'll go to the next pharmacy, right next to my job, right? And they didn't have it there at all. So I gave him a call and I was like, oh, uh, they don't have it here. And he's like, okay, for sure they have it at this place. You can try Target, it's another convenience store. So what I did, God forbid me, I'm so sorry I did this. Pretty much, I was like, you know what? My break is going to be over. I, I lied to this guy saying, all right, cool. I'm going to go to the third final location. I tried to go there. But, you know, my break was already, like, given out at that point. So what I did with any big big player should have done in the beginning is I blocked his number and I did not talk to him ever since then and then I went straight back to work I was kind of paranoid at first cuz I was like god damn it I just took someone's $200 but this guy was was living at the hotel he said for at least two weeks and man just to be there at my hotel is approximately at least $300 a night per night and imagine for two weeks I'm not good at math but Seven times 300, I, uh, what is that, like a good $1,400? Okay, I am good at math, I'm sorry. But that's at least a good $1,400. Wait, seven times three, that's 2,100, I'm sorry. Is it, wait, seven times two is 14. Yes, seven times three is 21. So 2,100 dollars and you're there for two weeks. Imagine double that, okay, I lied, I am good at math. But a double with that, that is probably like $42,000 at that point. But man, this guy had a lot of money. 
so the more of the story is <laughs> I took this guy $200 and I blocked him and I worked completely fine throughout my whole shift and it was a night time this guy did not even come outside and say where my $200 was but man this guy was spending at least $4,200 $4,200 just to stay there for two weeks at the hotel you gotta have a lot of money just to be there Quote unquote, I know I can be there, but I would not waste my money in a hotel. God damn it, trash compactor, you gotta be here, ruin my video. I hate you. But, uh, sorry about the background noise, guys, but pretty much overall, I took $200 from someone. And you know what? I took that as my tip because I said, hey, I took my time out of the day and my own break just to run around and get you a $50 AT&T prepaid card. Go figure, right? What a guy, what, what a pal that I am that I did that. Holy smokes. But, God damn it, trash compactor. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is APOP24, letting you guys know I love all you guys. <laughs> I know I haven't posted a lot of videos, but I've been working hard in life. But also, this is part of my life too, so I can't forget about YouTube. Until then, I love all you guys. Peace out, homies. Fucking trash compactor. Jose, I don't want to see you give up the whole time that tomorrow. Or, <laughs> I don't or, give up. You know, I don't give up. I don't. I don't miss. You promised me. I promise, me. I you promise to me? God, I don't give up. I don't. I, that's my. That's always in th always a thing in my head. I don't give up. Whatever, whatever I truly what I want in life this is what I want. Like I said, make YouTube videos. I stream. I do those. I do everything. I go to school. I have every option. I just want to be able to say I did it. Exactly me as well. Yeah, I, I'm always such a big dreamer.